gentlewoman from, from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm so proud to rise in support of this bill to recognize the brilliant and groundbreaking legal careers of Sandra Day O'Connor and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. But I'm also so proud to recognize them because of their unrelenting focus on our young people. We've heard a couple times about Justice O'Connor's um, interest in civics education. She founded her civics um, nonprofit when she found that more Americans knew the names of the judges on American Idol than they did on the justices of the Supreme Court. So she was really committed to helping our next generation understand the importance of our civics. Justice Ginsburg, I had the opportunity to meet her with my daughter when my daughter was about 10. My daughter was very anxious to ask a question of her. She asked her, when will we have a female president? And Justice Ginsburg turned to her and said, probably not in my lifetime, but certainly in yours. My daughter graduated from law school this year. We look forward to the fulfillment of Justice Ginsburg's prophecy, but I urge all of my colleagues to support this bill and support these statues, and with that, I yield back the balance of my time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass Senate 3294? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative. The gentleman, the gentleman from Maryland is recognized. Mr. Speaker, on that vote, I request the yeas and nays.